I'm like, you dead cow. And the cow just looking at me like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So <laughs> think about What's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy. Back in the state, man. You already know what time it is, man. Look, we are back with another reaction video today. What we are reacting to is Patrice O'Neal at the Just For Laughs Comedy Festival. You guys want to see me react to more Patrice O'Neal, so I'm bringing it to you today, right now. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the place, please, page. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that thumbs up button. All my social media links are right here. You can give those a follow. Tell me what video you want me to react to, or you can just say what's up, it all works the same. But enough talking, we just gonna go straight into this reaction and see what Patrice is talking about at the Just For Last Comedy Festival. This young legend that died too soon. Rest in peace to Patrice O'Neal. So I'm visiting from New York, and uh, I know you're worried. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're worried about us, but ain't no thing, man. We okay, man, you know. You know how I know New York is exactly back to normal, man, before the attacks, we're, we're back. Because, I tell you why. I tell you why I know the city is back to normal. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, a woman got pushed in front of the train uh, for the first time in in like nine months, which means, you know, the city's, you know what I mean? <laughs> Getting back to the way it was, you know what I mean? People, I just got tired of people sitting around too depressed to, to kill. It, it's... This fool said, too depressed to kill. <laughs> I just, uh, I just started traveling recently, man, last three years. I never left the East Coast after, so three years ago. So, you know, I, it's, I know, I know countries. I know you don't like, I know you don't like, you know, I know you don't like America. I know, I know. <laughs> and I didn't know why until I started traveling. I, we're, we're arrogant. We, you know, we don't know the name of your, of your president, you know. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you how arrogant I was. I, I used to, I also arrogant, I refer to people in their own country as foreigners. When I'm, <laughs> when I'm visiting you, I act like you're visiting me. I go, what the, <laughs> when are you foreigners gonna learn how to cook a steak? <laughs> what is this language you're speaking here in Japan? Wow. I hate traveling. I really wanna lose weight so I can laugh at fat people because they have a lot of trouble traveling now. You gotta buy two seats. <laughs> How do they even judge if you're too fat? Do they make you put your ass cheek in the, in the carry-on? <laughs> if, if, I'm sorry, sir, you have too much carry-on ass cheek. See, I'm in a weird fat position. I'm, uh, I'm regular fat. I'm, see, I move regular around, fat. I walk around. I'm not like talk show fat where you get like, you know, watch Jerry Springer had the thousand pound man. Now, a thousand pounds I'm 300 pounds so that means a th that means you're three of me and another dude with pneumonia or something like another this guy said pneumonia oh my god <laughs> what me and another dude with pneumonia or something like another dude that's not feeling well and you eat till you just, and that's all he did was just, <sighs> that was his job. And people in the audience crying, that's white girls, uh, that's your job is to cry over everything. Oh my God. <laughs> He's a thousand pounds. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he ate. You don't. Wow. <laughs> Catch a thousand pounds, I'm gonna stick you with a dirty needle. You eat, it, there gotta be a rule to fatness. It, it, my rule to my fatness, I'll kill myself if uh, I eat so much that under my stomach, I start to grow uh, an ass in the front. If I start to grow an ass in the front where my balls should be, I'm gonna shoot myself in the face. Cause I know I ain't gonna 
exercise to lose her ass. With, but this dude had titties everywhere. He had titties on wow. his back, his knees, <laughs> his hips. I was getting horny watching him. Oh! 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 oh. oh. I only joke around. I'm not a big fan of people. Um, so that's why I'm so mean. I'm like, a, I'm I'm like an animal either. dude. I'm one of these dudes. I walk around, I'm like, oh, it's animal. You know, I see a homeless dog. I'm like, oh, I'm all like a little bitch. Oh, the doggy, you know? <laughs> that's why some countries, man, the food they eat. Now, I'm going to say China, but I don't mean China. I just mean uh, countries that Chinese people come from. <laughs> like, how can you eat a dog? trouble disciplining my puppy when it piss on the rug, you know, hey, bop, you know. But you ever see them specials? They had those Chinese chefs and they cook it and, they, and there's a kitchen full of puppies. Mm -hmm. oh. And they just don't even care. <laughs> 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 like fried puppy faces like it. Oh my gosh, this dude said fried puppy faces, man. <laughs> skinny if I had to kill my own food I'd be in shape I'm glad my food comes murdered for me if I had to, for real. If for I had real. to shoot a cow in the face for my burger that I love like, when you're dead cow and a cow just looking at me like mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't do it so thank God you know for fish because I could kill fish easy because you know fish don't have any eyebrows so you could just you know You're a stab of fish, and all it does is just look at you like it won. What, what, faggot? What? That dude said the fish gonna look at you like he won it. <laughs> That's for real, though. If the cow could look me in the face before I killed it, I would not be able to kill it. Especially if it's, yeah, oh, yeah, no. Nah. He right about that. I'd probably die of starvation. Probably not that long because you know what I'm saying you got to eat, so probably not that long. But for a long period of time, I wouldn't be able to do it. But after our starvation start to hit, ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving them three to the ribs. Look, um, I know this is a real turbulent kind of time we're in, man. I know everybody's worried and everything, but look, if you want to live, just don't come to New York. Um, <laughs> what? They got to kill us first, and then they're gonna come after everybody else. I don't know what where Montreal is on the list or whatever. Somebody told me a lot of them live here and they just come across the board. <laughs> That's what somebody told me. I'm reporting the news. <laughs> Everybody's worried in the States they're going to get their state next. I don't know why. I mean, people in Nebraska, are, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you see what happened in New York City? Oh, it's terrible, man. We got to be careful here in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Because they might be trying to come get the corn next. Six tractors were hijacked today. <laughs> and driven into a cereal factory in Iowa. Why? It's a terrible sight here, Jim. We're live at the Raisin Brand factory. Oh my. <laughs> Raisin silo number one is completely engulfed in flames. <laughs> I think next year it's only going to be one scoop of raisins in the <laughs> raisin brand. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill is a fool, man. He is a straight fool. Rest in peace to that legend. Rest in peace to that legend, Patrice O'Neill. You guys keep sending in your suggestions in the comment section right now. Drop what reaction I should do next. What Patrice stand up or what comedian you want me to react to next? I'm gonna get to it. Just give me some time. All right, I am one person. It does take me some time to get to everyone's request. I am familiar that there's a couple, couple other reactions that I haven't got to. I know I still got to go back to Tom Segura. I think that's how you say his name. Tom Segura. I got to do a couple more. Louis C.K.'s. I know you guys want to see me do some Cat Williams. Don't worry. I'm tracking all of this stuff, guys. Just because I haven't got to it yet does not mean that I, I'm. I don't know. Trust me when I say I'm gonna get to your request. So keep sending in those requests right now. I got a whole list and I just keep adding, adding, adding. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys the content that you guys wanna see. With that being said, man, I love all my subscribers. Thank you so much for helping me reach 30,000 subscribers. We have successfully crossed over 30K. The next goal is 40. That is what the goal for this month. That's the goal that I set for this month is to reach 40,000 subscribers by the end of February. And I know that we can make that happen. I appreciate the support that you guys give me, man. It's your boy, Billy So Crazy. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out this thing.